Welcome back to Countdown to Christmas, the post-apocalyptic show. Uh, today's movie is Red Christmas, a different Red Christmas. So I, I was trying to redeem previous Red Christmas with a new Red Christmas. All right, so this Red Christmas was written and directed by Steve Zudzinski. Hold on. Oh, no, Steve Rudzinski. Okay, this Red Christmas um, is sort of a found footage ask blog YouTube type look of the film. We follow our our lead, Tara, name here if I got it wrong. Um, she's a serial killer. She's recording herself talking about how she goes through killing people and how she goes about not getting caught. It's all really interesting. Um, and what I like is how she explains, it's sort of like the whole Dexter thing, you explain how you do it so you don't get caught, which is pretty interesting. And she's recording herself doing all this, so if she does eventually get caught, she'll be famous. So, kind of modern day YouTubers. So, she tends to do it at Christmas because, you know, Christmas holiday horror movies. And so she films herself picking up a guy, she takes the guy back to her place, she ties the person up and basically just tortures the guy. And I will say the torture stuff was actually pretty well done. I mean, obviously, you know, it's all prosthetics and stuff. And because we're using her camera as our POV, it's very video. So there's not a lot of color correction or um, uh, I would say like artistic style seems like a bad word to use, but there isn't a lot of... Um, pizzazz in the shooting style so everything is still very much video and bright but it also kind of works for what they were trying to achieve so you know she pulls fingernails out stabs an eye cuts a leg i mean it all looks really good uh they could have gone a step further on the guy she was torturing always just looked pretty well made up up until you know they do his eye um Maybe a little more sweat or something. Um, but once again, that was such a minor a gripe about anything. Overall, I thought the lead, um, her name here, was really good because you have to sort of, because it's just all her the whole time, um, you have to just be on her side. And she was very likable enough. She was very likable. Likable enough makes it seem like she wasn't. She was very likable. And to do the whole... Uh, movie just based on her was it was really good. The one thing I really appreciate being in post-production and television is that they didn't use the little record bars as if she was live doing it. Not live, but like recording it. Oh, that's the bane of my existence. I, that's the one thing. I love what I do, but anytime I'm in a production meeting and they talk about filming something on a phone and we're going to see the footage full screen... They go, hey, can we put a battery and record? It's like, look, people know you're recording. If you just tell them you're recording, we know we're recording. But I do it because it's my job. And then the little twist end, which I won't spoil. I mean, some of it is obviously spoilers, but you know, there it's basically two people the whole time and then there's a third introduced, uh, which I actually thought was really well done. For what they were achieving, they did a great job. And I think for what this movie is, for what they did was really, I mean, obviously the budget was really small. They kept it minimal. And by doing a video of yourself, like holding the camera and however they shot it and her being the focus, I mean, obviously there was a camera person at some points. They did, they did a really good job because they could keep the budget down because they didn't have to worry about full set deck and full design. Like Sick for Toys looked really good because it was shot like a movie this one was shot on a video camera, but it was supposed to be video camera footage, so they achieved their goal. So, <clears throat> like I said before, is you don't have to be perfect, you just have to stick with what your aesthetic is, and then just sort of keep the pacing up, tell a little good story, and I'll forgive almost anything. I, hey, if I'm enthralled, I'll watch it and, you know, and then bitch about it afterwards, because, you know, the internet. Um... But yeah, uh, you know, if you watch this and like this, you know, hit the filmmakers up, support them. Uh, you know, I will be curious to see what else this person has done. Uh, maybe I'll do another video of other movies because I actually kind of liked what he was achieving. 
uh, as a director. So, you know, hit them up, support independent film, support the arts, you know, without our, you know, technology now and YouTube and people doing it, you know, we get a, a you know, a windfall of interesting content that we wouldn't have had years ago just due to budget constraints and eyeballs on content. And if you saw it and you liked it, comment, like, subscribe, follow, all those fun things. And thank you for watching. And until tomorrow's countdown to Christmas, post-apocalyptic show, happy holidays and Merry Christmas.